of Hethe would like to update the general public on the process of the country's preparedness to prevent importation of corona disease COVID-19 into the country. Current global situation. An outbreak of coronavirus disease popularly known as COVID-19 was declared in the People's Republic of China on 31st December 2019. This outbreak has now spread to all continents and over 47 countries are currently affected. Many others are being affected too. In Africa, Egypt, Algeria and Nigeria have already reported cases. The possibility of spread to other African countries, Uganda inclusive, is extremely high. Although Uganda has no cases of COVID-19, it is advisable that the population remains on high alert and diligently exercise preventive measures to avoid contacting the disease. Uganda has no confirmed cases of COVID-19 as of 28th February 2020. However, to date, 695 travelers, Chinese, Ugandans, and others traveling back home have been isolated for purposes of follow-up. Of these, 488 are Chinese nationals, 64 other nationals, while 143 are Ugandan citizens. 208 individuals have completed their 14 days of self-isolation. The Minister of Health continues to undertake the following measures to prevent the importation of the virus into the country. 1. The Minister of Health has enhanced surveillance measures to all travelers from COVID-19 affected countries. 2. Developed information materials for educating the public on the disease. Three, the Uganda Virus Research Institute has the necessary equipment regents to test and confirm any suspected COVID-19 sample in the country. So far, the samples from 10 persons who presented with signs and symptoms similar to that of COVID-19 have been tested, all tested negative. Screening at Entebbe International Airport and other Points of entry like Malaba, Busia, Eregu, and Chanika have been strengthened with the development of additional health workers, equipment, and infection prevention materials. Travelers from affected countries are required to undergo 14 days self-isolation and are monitored daily by the Ministry of Health surveillance team. Travelers who develop symptoms during follow-up period are checked, samples taken, tested, and advised on appropriate care. The Ministry of Health continues to engage media outlets and other communication channels to disseminate public information on COVID. 
Entebbe and Nagur referral hospitals have been prepared to receive and manage suspected cases. In addition, isolation facilities at all regional referral hospitals are being prepared to receive people who may present with signs and symptoms. 11 ambulances are on standby to transport suspected cases to the appropriate level of care. The Minister of Health has developed do's and don'ts to educate the public and how to avoid contracting the disease. What must be done? Wash your hands frequently with soap and water or use an alcoholic-based hand rub. This will remove the virus if it is in your hands. Cover your mouth and nose with the tissues of handkerchief when coughing and sneezing. Throw away the used tissue immediately into a dustbin or burn it and wash your hands with soap and water or use an alcoholic-based hand rub. The handkerchief must be washed by yourself daily and ironed with a hot iron. In this way, you protect others from any virus released through coughs and sneezes. Maintain responsible distance between yourself and someone who is coughing, sneezing at least one meter apart. Avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth. Hands touch may surface which can be contained with the virus and you can transfer the virus from the surface to yourself. If you have fever, cough and difficult in breathing, seek medical care immediately. If possible, call the he call health workers and alert them about your condition. Always follow the guidance of your health worker. People with flu-like symptoms should use face masks to cover the nose and mouth and stay home in a way well ventilated room. If you are caring for individuals who have symptoms such as cough and fever, you are encouraged to use a face mask to cover your nose and mouth. Clean and disinfect frequently touched surfaces such as door knobs, handles, car doors, elevator buttons, etc. daily with household disinfectant or soap. All people coming from Countries affected by coronavirus disease should follow guidance given by health workers at the airport and other border entry points. What must be done? Avoid handshaking and hugging at all times. Avoid close contact with people who are visibly sick with flu-like symptoms, fever, cough or sneeze. When sick with flu-like symptoms, avoid going to public places, offices, and public gatherings. Remain at home in isolation to avoid infecting others. You do not need to wear medical masks if you do not have respiratory symptoms such as cough, sneezing, and running nose. Don't take self-medication such as antibiotics. Do not spit in public. Find a place like toilets or pit latrines in which to spit in. Delay travels to countries that currently have many patients with coronavirus disease. If you must travel, please follow the above protective measures. Avoid travel if you have flu-like symptoms. Safety measures during mass gatherings. Organizers of mass gatherings must ensure that hand washing facilities or alcohol alcohol based sanitizers and temperatures and temperature screening materials are available at the venue entry points. The Minister of Health appeals to the general public to remain calm and vigilant and always verify information from the Minister of Health to avoid spreading false rumors which may cause unnecessary anxiety. The public also advised to report any suspected cases to the nearest health facility or call our toll-free lines on 0800-203-033 and 0800-100-066 or call the following officers Mr. Tech Kagirita on 0782 909-153 or Dr. Alan Muruta on 0772-460-297 signed by Honorable Jen Ruth Acheng, Minister for Health.